Good morning, Joy. Today is Tuesday. That means I'm on the internet. Today I'm going to be reading you a story I wrote in grade 8. Let's get started. The Attack of Chance by Sarah Lowen. Prologue. Melchizedek was an agent in charge of ridding the glorious city, Alzam, of danger and evil. This was not an easy job. For example, a few years back, in 4701, Alzam was attacked by, a, by, 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 by strange mutant rabbits. It took over 24 hours to capture, capture them all. That it was quite an adventure, but that's another story. Okay, this is the actual story part. Oh, I just love the salty breeze, don't you, quackers? Melchizedek asked his flying pet donkey. Quackers replied only with a soft neigh, for they were at the beach in Jamaica on vacation. It was Melchizedek's first vacation in over ten years, and he was glad to have it. Melchizedek was lazily lying on the soft, sandy beach when a secretary from the hotel came up to him and said that there was someone on the phone for him. So, um, he was a bit annoyed because he had only had a few hours at this amazing location. So, reluctantly, he got up and started walking back to the hotel. Come on, quackers, he called as he made was making his way up the path. When he got to the phone, there was a man on the other side of the line. I'm sorry to end your vacation so soon, but we have a problem, the man said. Come on, qua- Oh, I already said that. Mm oh, yes. When should I be expected there, Melchizedek replied. 9 a.m. tomorrow, the man said. I'll be there, Melchizedek said with a sigh. His vacation had just started, and now he had to leave. Come on, quackers, time to pack up. We've got a plane to catch. He exclaimed. The donkey frowned up at him. Melchizedek knew that quackers hated planes. It won't be that bad, he told the donkey. If only he knew what was ahead of them. On the plane ride back... To Alzam, the first few hours were fine, but then there was, suddenly there was a huge bang, foosh! They had been struck by something. Melchizedek could hear quackers whimpering while he looked out the window. His, eye most, hi, I, his eyes almost bobbed out of his head. He had seen a large green cyborg dragon. Uh-oh, he exclaimed as he realized what the problem was. The plane made it safely to the airport, though everyone, including the pilot, was a bit shaken up from their experience. There was a cab driver waiting for Melchizedek and Quackers when they came from baggage claim, and they got in. On the way to the base, Melchizedek started thinking about the situation. This is what he came up with. There are cyborg dragons attacking the city. How wonderful, he thought sarcastically to himself. When they arrived at the base, the man from the telephone, whose name was actually Man, told him the problem, which he already knew, and who he was going to work with. Her name is Ermagard, the man said. Melchizedek had heard of her before. She was fairly new, apparently quite annoying, and had not had very much experience before. Please don't make me work with her. What about Steve? Melchizedek asked inquisitively. And this is where I'm going to end today. Um, I hope you have had a wonderful week. And question of the day is, do you or do you not want to hear the end of the story? I will see you on Saturday. Bye, Joy!